welcome back to the channel everybody today we're going to take a look at the new indiana jones adventure series temple of doom indiana jones and short round action figures Prepare to meet Kali in hell. i just recently got these two early off amazon they came about one month early i just got these yesterday so today we're going to do a quick review of these guys we're going to do some comparisons we'll see how they scale next to other adventure series figures we'll see how they look compared to gi joe's marvel legends before we crack these two open let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging shall we so on the front of the indiana jones you see you get the temple of doom figure render you get some temple of doom artwork right there it is from the Build an Artifact series, Temple of Doom Indy, Warning, Choking Hazard, Small Parts. If you are not at least four years old, do not, do not play with this. And here's the back of the box, more Indiana Jones artwork, Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. There's the figure with all the accessories he comes with, and we'll take a deep dive into those. And there's one more action figure render on the back, looking pretty sweet. And here's Short Round, Indiana Jones Adventure Series. There's Short Round on the front of the box. More building artifact. There's his name at the bottom. Warning, small parts. You know the drill. Here's the artwork on the side of the box. It's plastic-free packaging. Here's the figure render on the back of the box. There's the accessories he comes with. This shows how tall he is. And there's some more of the figures in the wave. We'll build that Temple of Doom artifact right there. And let's crack them open. This is what this is what we're dealing with right here. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at Dr. Jones himself. And fresh out of the box, this thing looks pretty sweet, I must say. It makes a very good first impression. And this head sculpt, I do believe, is new from the Raiders of the Lost Ark version. This one here has got some good bruising on it. I think the eyes are a little bit different. The mouth is different. He looks good and beat up like he did in this scene from Temple of Doom that this is based off of. The shirt, it looks dirty and dingy. It, it's ripped all to pieces. He's missing a sleeve. He's ripped open in the front. He just looks awesome. The back of the figure has these slits in the shirt. Once again, there's that dingy yellow look. It looks better off camera. The hat has some wear to it. This face sculpt's just amazing. He has the same pants as before, but now he's got a tear in them. The shoes look pretty sweet. And I think the belt loop, I think the belt loop right here for his whip, it work, I think it actually works on this one. It came, it came out of the box looped up. So we'll see how that goes. He's got this awesome satchel right here that he came with. It's got some sweet details to it. Good paintwork. They painted the buckles on it, so that's that's fucking awesome. And yeah, this is just a damn good looking Indiana Jones figure. By the way, this hat is not removable. It is stuck on there. And the articulation, it is the same for this guy. The head can get some sick, great movement. He can rock around. He can look up and down, side to side. He's got the uh, he's got the butterfly joints that help out with holding accessories. He has a single jointed elbow that can get that good range. The arm can move well at the shoulder joint. The hands, they move up and down and side to side pretty decent. He has this diaphragm cut here to help with bending movements, but he also bends at the waist. And he can also turn at the waist. He can do some splits. He can kick the shit out of people. He can bend at the thigh here with the thigh cut. Single joint and knee, he gets that much range. And you can also rotate at that knee. And he has ankle pivot. Next up, let's check out the accessories. So he comes with the jawbone or the lower half of the jawbone to the build an artifact from Temple of Doom, that giant skull that they're all praying to and worshiping and shit. And this thing's got some very good detail to it. You can see the teeth right there. In the lower half. It looks pretty sweet. And it's got some good paintwork to it. 
looking pretty awesome. I'm not sure what else they could have done with this, but I'm happy to have this, and I can't wait to build that artifact. He has the same long whip accessory. It's pretty sweet. And focus, focus. There we go. Yeah, if it was bendy wide, that'd be dope as hell, but it's not. It's just this rubber, uh, rubber plastic piece. Plastic, not rubber. But the handle, I feel like it should be painted. I feel like the entire whip should be like a darker brown. Maybe I'm wrong. And here is the wound up whip that he can loop and hang from his belt right there. Same accessory we've seen previously with the other Indy. And he has this bent up ass sword. It came out of the box warped. But you can probably heat that up. And straighten it out. And it should look a lot better. Cast it in like this silver plastic with a brown handle. And he has this little tiny baby ass pistol. Looks pretty neat. It is in all black plastic. Has a brown handle. And he doesn't have a trigger finger. So this tiny ass pistol will just kind of like. Sit in his hand very poorly. Like I mean that's just, that's just trash. I would probably display him. With that in the holster most of the time anyway. I'll probably have mine posed up with the uh, machete here. And probably this on his belt loop. He can hold the machete very well. Probably in either hand, but it looks better in the right hand. So he can hold the machete very well. Looks pretty sweet. The whip is very loose in that hand. So he can hold the whip in the left hand pretty, pretty decently. It's still kind of loose. So that'll be it for Indy. Let's go ahead and check out Short Round, shall we? Yeah, so, here is Short Round, fresh out of the box. Wow, holy smoke! Class landing! This thing, it looks, it looks okay. I'm really not a fan of the head sculpt here, to be honest. It looks, I don't know, the photo reel or whatever it is they use. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not, it's not the best in the world. I feel like it could be better, but like it's, it's probably hard to accomplish what they were trying to accomplish with this figure. But I mean, the head sculpt it ain't bad. It's not terrible. It's just not the best in the world. And this, this outer jacket part, it is soft goods. That is a cloth material. It feels, uh, it feels a little rough. It's not really soft at all. It's, I don't know, I don't know what to uh, compare that to that they've put out. It kind of feels like a curtain, like a curtain material. I'm damn sure glad to have short round in figure form. But, uh, I feel like this hits the mark. And here is Wave 1 Indiana Jones from Raiders of the Lost Ark compared to Short Round. And the new Temple of Doom Indiana Jones action figure. And hell yeah. Now let's go ahead and get an up close comparison of the two Indiana Jones figures. So here's the difference in the face sculpts. And I kind of like this new one a lot better. I think it looks better. The, uh, the eyes, they look uh, less, less weird. I didn't realize how weird the first ones looked until now. I mean, the face still looks okay and the eyes are okay, but compared to this new one, I feel like it's the lesser of the of the two head sculpts. Uh, but the uh, paintwork on the bodies is about the same. It's both pretty good. But yeah, this new face, it's definitely different. Yeah, I think it looks better. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And here is Indiana Jones in short round compared to... Red Shirt Bazooka, and Emma Frost from the Child Build-A-Figure Wave. I love these two figures. I'm glad to have them. Once again, I got them both off Amazon. They were slated to be out next month, but they came this month. Like I just got these yesterday from Amazon, of course. And I got a bit of a discount because I pre-ordered these in like June, and they were like three bucks off. But uh, anyway, fresh out of the box, these are amazing figures. I highly recommend these if you are an Indiana Jones fan. If, you are, if, Temp if Temple of Doom is your favorite movie, then you damn sure need these two figures. You at least need this short round to go with a different Indiana Jones you may have. But uh, I rate both these figures. I give them a 9 out of 10.
Both these figures are a solid 9 out of 10. They got great accessories for what you pay for these. You're getting some pretty good value, I feel like. They got uh, very great details, good articulation. And I'm a big Indiana Jones fan. I have been since I was like five or six years old. So these figures to me are very special. And yeah, that'll probably be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know your uh, thoughts and feelings on these figures on the Indiana Jones movies. Let me know if you've seen the newest one. I have not yet, but I cannot wait for that. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, watch some more videos. We'll catch you next time.